My sponsor, Rock Bottom, is currently running a special deal. Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code ZERK at checkout for a 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the two ultimate legends or I should say the two set ultimate legends coming out for you guys tomorrow in ultimate team. Now I gotta say, this is probably the slowest pair of set legends I have seen besides offensive linemen and if we get like an O-line and D-line combo, this is probably one of the slowest sets that we've seen. So. We have Brian Urlacher, middle linebacker. Of course, you guys might know about him already from this morning. But I'm going to go over his stats again and give you guys a little bit of comparison. And I had some people ask over on Twitter, you know, why did you not really like this Brian Urlacher card? Well, as you guys can see, 95 overall ultimate legend Brian Urlacher. Yes, I said 95 because it literally looks like a 95 overall. Maybe, at best, from the front of the card anyways. He literally has 89 speed, which in my opinion is way too slow at this point in the game. Except... For if you have a theme team if you have a bears theme team then this card is not going to be that slow for you because obviously you can put sprinter on him you can have uh, john madden you can have you know the bears theme team and you can power him up he's gonna have 96 speed that sounds fine and dandy if you don't have a bears theme team he's slow so to me this brian urlacher card should have way better block shed and way better zone and way better hit power in the first place if he's gonna have such slow speed this is the worst 99 overall card I think I've seen so far, uh, just because of the fact he literally doesn't have any 99s. He has two 98s in tackling and play rec, which most people use are the middle linebackers, so play rec doesn't really matter that much unless you don't use her them. And then tackling, well, secure tackling this year doesn't even work. So with that being said, I'm not even sure how much of the 98 tackling is actually coming to play, but he only has a 92 block shed, only has a 93 hit power and a 92 zone. The zone is pretty decent, I'll say that, but the block shed should be better and definitely the hit power should be better. I just feel like unless you're using a Bears theme team, 89 speed is it's just not going to cut it. Now, to give you guys a little bit of a comparison here, right? Let's take a look at Ultimate Legend Ray Nitsky, which again, another card I think is way too slow. He has 87 speed with a 92 acceleration. Now, 92 excel, 89 speed, so it is a little bit faster Brian Urlacher is, but he's got 89 strength, right, with a 92 block shed. Ray has a 90 strength with a 94 block shed. Not only that, right? 97 tackling, 94 hit power. 93 hit power, he's only got 98 tackling. Okay, so what is the big difference here? He's got worse block shed than Ray. He's got two more speed. Play rec 98 in zone of a 92. So Ray, what's his zone? A 90, which still is the elite tier threshold. Play rec 97. There's not a big enough difference between these two cards, which by the way, in my opinion, both these cards are not very usable just because the speed is so bad. Ray at least has 94 block shit and 94 hit power, which is a little bit better, but the speed still is, is, is absolutely terrible. It's just honestly very, very terrible. Uh, 90 zone coverage though is what it is. Personally, I don't like either of these two middle linebackers. I would much rather have, all right? If you guys were in the Bears theme team, which middle linebacker would you rather have? Would you rather have an 89 speed middle linebacker or would you rather have a 92 speed with 94 acceleration? He has a 97 hip power. Roquan Smith has a 97 hip power. Do you guys see the problem here? Not to mention he has a 91 zone, which is only one less. He has a 98 pursuit. He has better tackling at 98 and he has a 90 block shed with a 92 play rack. The only big difference is the block shed is plus two for Brian Erlacher. And this is supposed to be a 99 overall card compared to Roquan Smith, which is a 98. I don't see it. I seriously don't understand how this card is a 99. And literally, unless you're using a Bears theme team, I don't think anyone's going to have this card on their team unless you're just paying respect to Brian Erlacher. But then you're not going to be paying respect to your win-loss record because with this man on the field, you're not going to be doing too hot unless you have a Bears team. And the other set ultimate legend for tomorrow is going to be Dan the Man. Marino. Card actually looks pretty good in terms of throwing stats. We'll get into the speed later. 64 speed. Absolutely garbage. 98 throw power though with a 99 short, 98 medium, 98 deep, 99 throw under pressure, and a 98 play action. You really can't get better of a thrower than that, but he also has an 88 throw on the run to 64 speed. So you're basically saying stand in the pocket, take the snap, and do not move, and you will be perfectly fine with Dan Marino. 
Now, obviously, there are certain chemistries you guys can get that can boost, like, put Go Deep on him if you want. You can get his throw power and his deep up. And then if you also have, like, John Madden, I believe you... I mean, John Madden, I, I'm pretty sure, will get you everything here. So, yeah, everything will be 99 if you have John Madden. You get one throw power, medium, deep, and play action. And then all you got to really worry about is his speed and his throw on the run, which if you want to put a chemistry, you... I think there's a chem to put, get a throw on the run as well up. Pretty sure there is. So, you can get that on Dan Marino if you want. Now... Let's do a little bit of comparison here. Dan Marino versus Tom Brady. What's the stat comparison here? So 67 speed, right? Obviously Dan Marino, 64 speed. Not much of a difference there. 98 throw power, 98 throw power. Now Dan literally has 98 of essentially everything. Uh, so 99 short, 98 medium, 96 deep. Take a look here, 98, or actually 99 short, 98 medium, 98 deep. So in terms of being a better, pa a better passer, he actually is a slightly better passer there. But throw under pressure, 99. Throw on the run, 88. Throw on the run for Tom Brady is a 91. Throw under pressure is a 99. So they both have 99 throw under pressure. Throw on the run is a little bit better for Brady. But you are trading some of that throw deep, which, I mean, like I said, if, if you just put go deep on him, you're going to have 99 for that and 99 throw power so if you were choosing between tom brady and dan marino in my opinion i'll go with tom brady just simply because of the fact that both of these guys can get 99 throw power 99 short medium deep uh and also 99 play action i believe for dan marino but tom brady has a little bit better throw on the run and he's also slightly slightly faster that's the only reason i would actually go with tom brady now another quarterback maybe a little bit of a cheaper option here would be nick Foles. But he doesn't have as good of throwing stats as Marino. Obviously, he's only got 95 throw power with a 98 short, 96 medium, 93 deep with a 98 throw under pressure. But obviously, with Nick Foles, he's got the speed. He's got 76 speed and an 80 acceleration. Now, if you want to do a little fun comparison here, comparing Steve Young to the new Dan Marino, you can as well. Of course, Steve Young is one of the new limited time cards out. But if you have his power up, you can pick it up with training points as of tomorrow. So when Dan Marino comes out, you better get Steve Young with training points to buy him off the auction block. Now, in terms of are you sacrificing a ton of throwing stats for the speed? No, you're really not. I mean, 95 throw power, 96 short, 95 medium, 95 deep. That is definitely good enough to compete online, especially if you put go deep on him and get his throw power, his throw deep up to 99 after you power him up, and then just get his throw short and throw medium up with John Madden or maybe some other chemistries as well. Uh, he's got 96 throw on the run, and he's definitely got very good speed at 89 speed, but the majority of people still everybody's using Michael Vick that's just how it's gonna go now at this point in the year everybody's using Michael Vick or Lamar Jackson and I don't see why you want it honestly uh they're both not even the most expensive quarterbacks in the game and in my opinion Lamar Jackson actually might be the best quarterback in the game I know ultimate legend Michael Vick is also extremely extremely good but in terms of the quarterbacks that I've played with I feel like Lamar Jackson actually has played better for me but a lot of people still prefer Michael Vick now, in terms of the limited time ultimate legend, we do not actually know who it is, but because of the fact that we got Steve Young limited time card last week, guys, more than likely, I'm pretty sure it is, in fact, going to be a defensive player, so I, I'm honestly kind of lost on who they're going to go with defensive player. They could go with someone on the defensive line, or technically, I guess, they go secondary as well, but we did get Ed Reed last week, so I have a feeling they're going to go someone on the defensive line for the limited time card so whoever the limited time card is is more than likely going to be a defensive lineman now we just got dan marino so maybe we'll get another dolphin and it could be jason taylor i don't believe jason taylor has an ultimate legend card yet so that'd be kind of interesting to see there but honestly guys i have a problem with these ultimate legends and i did talk about it a little bit earlier with you guys as well but my issue with ultimate legends this year is the fact that it is only april and they've released all of the good ultimate legends now that doesn't sound like a bad thing but it kind of is the reason it's a bad thing is because with all these ultimate legends coming out i feel as though they're going to leave us in a dead period of madden and if you know what that means basically about mid-july every single year they actually decide to just kind of like pull the plug on the current madden and tell you hey next madden's coming out in two three four weeks whatever and you basically have that long of a period with no content but then they start to reveal news about the next madden but with them dropping all of the good Ultimate Legends earlier in the year, we're in for two things. One, 
extremely bad ultimate legends towards the end of the season because they literally already dropped randy moss they already dropped michael vick Deion sanders lawrence taylor they front loaded the ultimate legend promo because of other games that were competing with madden and i don't think there's any good ones left so they're gonna a just pull the plug on the game a little bit earlier than usual. See, now the game came out August 1st this year. I wouldn't be surprised to see them maybe like the first week of July. Drop Rookie Premier and then quit right there. Or they'll just keep it going. But give us some Ultimate Legends that really nobody cares about. But that's my take on the Ultimate Legends. Brian Erlecker and Dan Marino. Personally, not too excited about either of them. Just because of the fact that I feel like there's a lot better quarterbacks. Just because I feel like in this game, you really do need speed. And every Madden in ultimate team people are going to send blitzes you need to be able to scramble having an immobile quarterback like dan marino is really not going to help you that much but obviously the throwing stats extremely good and if you're a dolphins fan go ahead and pick him up and the same thing with brian erlacher i just really don't see these two making a lot of teams unless you're doing theme teams but I hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you did smack the like button subscribe and comment i'll see you guys next time